Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Now, I have some rather shocking news for everyone. Apparently, countries are having disputes over oil. I know. I never thought it could happen either. But what's even more surprising is which two countries are letting a little black gold come between them. China and Vietnam, which is a shame. Vietnam and China have a long history. Boyhood. Always a difficult time for young nations. For 2,000 years, Vietnam and China fought like brothers, with Vietnam coming under Chinese domination, then fighting its way out, only to be dominated again. And so it cycled on and on. In the 20th century, China came to the aid of its communist little brother during the Vietnam War, helping North Vietnam defeat the American imperialists. But after the war, China attacked Vietnam, and a bloody battle ensued, with Vietnam emerging as the bitter winner. Ten years later, China and Vietnam became friends once again. But now, Vietnam and China are facing off once more, this time over that well of black gold in the ocean, the South China Sea. The South China Sea, $5 trillion a year in shipping flow through these waters, and they're also home to untapped natural resources like oil and natural gas. Seven different countries have claims to various parts of the South China Sea, but not to worry, because China has tried to simplify these disputes by claiming pretty much the whole thing with its nine-dash line. Vietnam has recently made the bold move to start drilling for oil and gas in parts of this disputed territory. The Vietnamese government divides its coastal areas into numbered blocks. Kind of like Battleship, but with oil rigs, which is probably not as fun of a game. Yo, oh, you sunk my oil rig! causing an environmental disaster that will wipe out all ocean life within 500 nautical miles. Anyway, Vietnam wants to drill for oil in blocks 118, 128, and 136. This is a problem because China's nine-dash line passes through or past these blocks, meaning Vietnam wants to drill in disputed territory. And China is not exactly ready to welcome them to the neighborhood. We hope that the relevant country can act on the basis of maintaining regional peace and stability, and not do anything to complicate the situation. Hey, Vietnam has watched The Sopranos. It knows when it hears a veiled threat. And that's why it's getting the other families together, if you know what I mean. Vietnam's first ally is India. India is one of China's biggest economic rivals in Asia, and Vietnam just renewed an oil deal with them last week. Vietnam granted an Indian oil firm a two-year extension to drill in Block 128. And why is India doing it? One official from that Indian oil firm told Reuters interest in the block was strategic rather than commercial, given that oil development there was seen as high risk with only moderate potential. The official also said, Vietnam also wants us to be there because of China's interventions in the South China Sea. That's right, India isn't even hiding that it was a political move. For the Indian government, it's more about checking China than checking for oil. In fact, India and Vietnam have been getting a lot closer over the past year. India gave Vietnam a $500 million loan to buy defense equipment, including naval ships and missiles. They're also helping Vietnam train their fighter pilots and submarines. India also promised to fund a Bollywood movie where a maverick Vietnamese fighter pilot struggles to regain his confidence after his friend is tragically killed during a training dance number. Anyway, Vietnam's second drilling ally is the United States, surprisingly. Here at Block 118, there's a natural gas field called Blue Whale. Because it's big, you know, like a blue whale. Very creative. The natural gas there is worth about four and a half billion U.S. dollars. And who better to do a joint venture with state-owned Petro-Vietnam than the American company ExxonMobil, which has such illustrious former CEOs as Rex Tillerson, current U.S. Secretary of State. Which means it's quite possible the deal has the political backing of the United States government. The planned natural gas drilling will be within Vietnam's exclusive economic zone, which extends 200 miles off its coast. But wait! China's nine-dash line overlaps part of Block 118. So as you can imagine, Vietnam and the U.S. drilling close to the nine-dash line is not making China very happy. And speaking of U.S.-Vietnam joint operations, earlier this month, Vietnam began joint military drills with the U.S. This has happened every year since 2010, but this time 
It came just days after a U.S. destroyer sailed through waters China and Vietnam both claim. And that was just a month after U.S. President Trump met with Vietnamese Prime Minister... Uh, Shelley? How do you pronounce that? Got it. Prime Minister Phuc. They signed some trade deals and stuff. A few days later, Phuc met with Vietnam's third ally, Japan. Oh man, I hate it when you're meeting with another world leader and they're wearing practically the same outfit. Awkward. But I guess it turned out to be more of a compliment since Japan committed to $900 million in aid to Vietnam. And then the two countries held, you guessed it, a joint military drill. And then there's Block 136. Unlike the other blocks I mentioned, this block falls entirely within China's Nine Dash Line. So Vietnam and China both claim the whole thing. Well, the BBC just learned that a Vietnamese company has been quietly drilling there since last month. The Chinese regime has also apparently leased out the same territory to a Hong Kong company, where two of the directors also happen to be senior members of the Chinese Communist Party. Vietnam had avoided drilling there for years to avoid upsetting China, but apparently now, Vietnam no longer cares and is doing it anyway. The Chinese regime has not reacted graciously. China and Vietnam are planning on celebrating their camaraderie with some joint military drills last month. Wait, again? When did joint military drills become the vow renewals of international relations? But after Vietnam met with India, and the US, and Japan, and drilled for oil in territory that China claims, well, China decided it didn't want to hang out anymore. But besides being generally unneighborly, China is probably not going to take any serious action. That's because China is pushing for its One Belt, One Road Global Domination Initiative. They want to make economic alliances all around the world, particularly in Southeast Asia. And if China starts ramming Vietnamese boats, again, it might make other countries not want to participate in One Belt, One Road. So China is holding back. Also, the Chinese leadership is holding an important party congress in November this year. And they don't want some silly war to rock the boat. Vietnam understands all this, so it's a good time for them to start drilling for that black gold. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time. Enjoy the episode? You could have seen it five days ago on our website, ChinaUncensored.tv, where we posted the full half-hour episode, which we're able to make now thanks to the support of all our amazing patrons on Patreon.